Man, I tell you, that is a serious tool. This is the multi-hammer for the man who has every tool. This is your one. It's the Lamborghini, the Ferrari. You know, the one that everybody walks into and they're like, really? That's the tool you have? You've got that tool. Seriously though, this tool does a lot of things. It can do stretching, shrinking, bead rolling. You can do uh, English wheel, doming. And the reason it's like more than one machine is it's got a function where not only can it be a rigid hammer, but it can also be a sprung loaded power hammer like Yoder type. So what we're doing now is doing shrinking, which this thing, this is about five minutes. And that is a serious piece of shrinking out of five minutes. And uh, one of the reasons it does that is because it has so much power. I mean, when I'm using it right now, even though it's really controllable, you wouldn't want to get your finger in here. But you see, I'm using it really slow, but you can also pump it up. You got a variable control here, so you can set it at a certain speed and go ahead and kind of crank it on. But like I was saying, the big deal is up on top. And if you look right here, there's a pin. If you lock this pin in, then it's in solid mode. So say you want to do some wheeling, if you want to do some beating, and it's locked into a hard position. But something like this, where you're like slap, 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 most machines that are rigid like that, they don't like planishing because it just wears everything out. You're wearing out your bearings, you're wearing out the, the pins. This has a spring, so it's got a semi-elliptical front, kind of like an old hot rod, you know, basically like a half leaf spring that's up in the front. So when you pull that pin, you're using a spring to come off of here. And that way it doesn't ruin the tooling, but yet it's still, you get a lot of power. Obviously we've done shrinking. Let's put a planishing die in here and, and you can see that too. Now first I'm just kind of pushing down these ruffles, just kind of pushing them together, get rid of the folds. Now we'll kind of get into the meat. We'll start making some real beef. See how nice that foot control is? That's real time. Look how quick that is. That's a lot of stretch. It's a lot of shrink to happen that fast and that smooth. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, so we got my beading die in. We got our stop set and we changed our stroke so that when you do these kind of beading functions, it's good to be able to get a lot of little bitty hits because you're trying to shape something instead of, you know, when you're trying to uh, shrink or planish you'll have a bigger stroke trying to get more power per blow. This you want a lot of little bitty ones to try to make it nice and smooth. And the other thing we did is we locked it into rigid mode. So we're not using that spring anymore. Now we're using a rigid block. That way when we come in and make that line, it'll be nice and smooth and hard. And uh, at that point, we check our height so we kind of see how we're looking. So we've got a metal thickness in there. We'll do that by spinning it around via the wheel on the opposite side. At that point, we're ready to rock. So, cool thing about this too, you can start in the middle of the panel. So, I'll start that. See how smooth that is? Now, say like you're doing a floorboard. You know, floorboard would kind of look similar to this. There you go. Turn this around a little bit so you can get your stroke out of the way. Wham. Another tool I need. That's a shock, isn't it? God damn. This is definitely one of those tools where you're like, if you have this tool, I hate you. That's a really great tool. Now I'm just doing half, just to show you how smash, smash, how fast 